Welcome back. You're with us here on Aspire. Now, here's what's buzzing in the tech world. We've got yet another new phone from Samsung, a tablet from Amazon. And there's a new game, The Last of Us. Gamers worldwide are applauding the gameplay and the storyline. Here's a look. Samsung has announced the Galaxy S4 Zoom, a phone that looks more like a camera and one could easily confuse it with the Galaxy camera. But it's smaller and can be used as a phone. It has a 4.3 inch AMOLED display, a dual core processor, but the key USP of the S4 Zoom is its camera. It has a wide angle 24mm lens with a 16 megapixel sensor and a 10x optical zoom. The S4 Zoom is expected by the end of summer. After marching into the Indian market, Amazon has now brought its range of e-readers. The Kindle Fire range and the Kindle Paperwhite will be available to consumers by the end of June. The Kindle Fire HD has two variants, a 7-inch and an 8.9-inch device. With the 7-inch HD starting at 16,000 rupees and the 8.9-inch starting at 22,000 rupees. Both have colored screens and are tablets more than e-readers. It's the Kindle Paperwhite which is great for reading and that comes in at 11,000 rupees. The devices will be available on Amazon.in and other popular retail stores. Do I need to remind you what is out there? A new game on the PlayStation platform has got gamers excited all over the world. The Last of Us might seem like another zombie title with run and gun style of play, but believe us, it's much more than that. Veteran survivor Joel has to escort Ellie, a young girl whose survival is vital for the human race, through a savage and unforgiving world, where the infected lurk in the shadows and ruthless gangs run wild. <laughs> But as the game progresses, the character development gets stronger with great voice acting and expressions that make them seem like real people and you start relating to them. I just want some simple gear enough to set me on my way. From city ruins to the wild woods, every scene is beautifully designed. The gameplay is also very rich. Ammo and weapons are low, so low that you are forced to use stealth tactics to take down enemies. The game feels real on most accounts and that's what makes it so immersive. It's one of those rare games that you never want to end. It is storytelling and game design at its best and for a moment you will forget that this is a game and not a movie. If you want to know what a game is capable of, grab a copy. You won't regret it. Some of these games are even more intense than Hollywood blockbusters. But even the world of gaming consoles, Vikram, it's so intense these days. Yes, man. Now with the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox uh, One announced, here's what you need to know before you go out and pick your gaming console. After a break of over seven years, the next generation gaming consoles have finally been announced. And come fall 2013, the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 will be fighting their way to your living room. So it's a good time to consider your gaming options and know which is the right console for you. Both the consoles promise to pack in the latest hardware to make sure that the device can last another five years of gaming. And this is where they are more similar than different. Both of them have eight core processors, a Blu-ray drive, 8 GB of RAM and 500 GB of storage. But how they function differs. Xbox has the Kinect sensor for motion gaming which is a camera that captures every movement of the player and replicates it on the screen. Since there are no additional controllers, it's great for the entire family to join in and play. However, it does face some problems for hardcore gamers who prefer precision. And that's where the PlayStation Move excels. Unlike the Kinect, the Move has controllers with glowing orbs that recognize your movement. This is accurate but not the best option for multiple gamers. The Kinect also takes advantage of becoming the controller for all your entertainment needs as it recognizes voice functions, can play live TV and even make Skype calls. Both the consoles are capable of web browsing, playing digital content including video on demand. It's in the details that they differ. The Xbox One is region locked, will charge a used game fee from the publisher's end and will require an internet connection to activate the console for use. 
PlayStation 4 has no such restrictions. It's region free, so it doesn't matter where you bought the console from and you can play it anywhere in the world. It will also not charge a used game fee, so you can share games and the biggest advantage is that it doesn't require an internet connection for offline gaming. Now this is very important for gamers because I could be in a remote location like Timbuktu where I don't have an internet connection and I could still play my PlayStation 4 titles offline. That's something I can't do on the Xbox One. Also remember the fact that the PlayStation 4 is a hundred bucks cheaper than the Xbox One. But remember the fact that the PlayStation does not include the Move controller or the PlayStation Eye in the price. Whereas the Xbox One at the 500 price tag includes the Kinect sensor. So once you add it all up, both the consoles with the accessories are pretty much at par. The main difference however would lie in the exclusive titles. 90% of the game titles are common between the two consoles. It's the exclusive titles which will influence the decision of the gamers. If you're a fan of Halo or Gears of War series, then you will need the Xbox. If you're a fan of titles like God of War, The Last of Us or Killzone, then it's the PlayStation for you. But if you're new to the world of console games and are already a social or a mobile gamer, then there are other options as well. Ouya, that's what it's called. A new name in the world of gaming is meant for entry level gamers. For all those who love gaming on Android devices, you can now enjoy these games on your television. This small little box connects with your TV and it also comes with a controller. It's powered by a Tegra 3 processor, has 1 GB of RAM, 8 GB of internal storage and can give full HD output. And the best part, it's priced below $100. Yup, that's cheap. You can buy games from the Play Store, while some of them are free, other carry normal price tags. Still, a much cheaper alternative to the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. The other big advantage is that Ouya can emulate all your previous generation games from Atari and Nintendo. So it's great for the casual gamer who's looking to play all those retro games. But don't compare it to the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. The graphics are nowhere close. It's only meant for the casual gamer. If you want intense action and mind-blowing graphics, then you'll have to settle down for the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4. Time for us to take a quick break now, but fashion coming up in just a bit. That's right. Monochrome is really the rage these days. We'll tell you all about it when we come back.